Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Um, I guess this is another video from the Corona Zone. Um, yeah, I, I've been missing my girls. Um, I love The View. It's a show I watch every day. I usually do my um, um, exercise bike or something while I'm watching it because it's one of the few shows I can just just watch the whole time and hold my concentration. Um, and they've been on holiday and they never announce it. They just disappear and they just go for a couple of weeks and it's like, where are my girls? Um, but they're coming back soon. They're coming back on August um, the 8th. And there was a little um, video on God, on um, ET. And um, I took some screenshots because I want to be able to read the article they were talking about. Um, basically, Megan McCain was complaining because people were complaining about her coming back to the show. So the show's returning Tuesday, August 8th. And um, there was an article on a website called, what was it called? Oh, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Um, and it said, The View sets return date. Fans excited for comeback, but not for Megan McCain. Uh, Megan McCain is the controversial co-host of The View. The, Republic, the, the, the Republican pundit is never afraid to give her opinion on the ABC talk show, knowing that she will most likely not fall on the popular side. It's the dynamic that the show was founded on that keeps viewers coming back. However, McCain is extremely polarizing, and despite many fans excited for the season 2024 premiere, they're not thrilled to see her return. Now, um, she went on a weird rant, um, and the fact that she paid this article any attention shows that she needs some attention. Um, she said, I don't normally comment on garbage written, but this is an example of why our culture is so deeply toxic for women. Um, no man would ever have this kind of headline written um, where who, someone who co-hosts the number one talk show in America and just won an Emmy for Best Show. Do better, be better, lift women up instead of tearing strong ones down. Yeah, she's a strong woman. Um, we are punished for being tough, opinionated, and backing down while men are celebrated for it. Now, while that is true in general, that's not the case here. Um, we do have a problem in society um, with with celebrating men being hard and tearing women down for it. That's true. But that's not what's happening here. Everyone, every woman on that show is a strong woman. Um, but she's just rude and arrogant and um, just harsh and just unpleasant um, and stubborn. Um, there was a incident uh, just before the show ended... Um, she was talking about these women who um, were part of the um, the women's movement or whatever. Um, the one with the pussy hats. What was that? What were they called? Oh wait, they came on the show. They were interviewed, and one of them had a connection to um, some group and and, and um, anti Republican sentiment. Blah blah blah. And she was all huffy and puffy about that. And then she commented about that and said those two women that we had on the show were a part of that. And Whoopi's like, no, no, only one of them was, one of them wasn't. And, and, and she's like, no, no, sorry, you weren't there. They both were. And she's like, I was there. And I know she was there. I saw the interview and everyone else saw the interview. We all knew she was there and Megan was there. But yet she was telling Whoopi Goldberg, no, you weren't there when she was there. So, that, of course, everyone then played that interview because obviously she was there. And Megan was just stubborn and belligerent and just wouldn't admit that she was wrong. And that's why people don't like her. Um, it's, it's her personality. It's nothing to do with her politics because they've always had some right-wing nut on that show, at least, or someone at least right-wing leaning on that show. That's, that's the point of the view is to have different voices and different views. That's the view. So people don't want her back because of that, not because of... Um, they just hate women. So turning it into a, a sexist thing against women is just really bizarre. And she goes on, This is not about me, but about women coming up in this industry after me. We should be further along than this. We should celebrate women with differences of opinion and guts and grit. I think women on all sides of the political persuasion need to be speaking louder and using their voices more, not less. There's so many more crack, cracks in the ceiling. Women are owed... And I, for one, am sick of us not being where I thought we would be in the year 2020. I know this is a soapbox rant, but forgive me 
uh, the world is on fire. I'm eight months pregnant, and like most Americans, I'm heartbroken at the state of our country on all levels, including the ab absolutely unrelenting toxicity aimed towards women in the media and politics with no other agenda other than to tear them down. Also, I'll see you back on the show on the 8th. So, she just likes to play, like like most right-wing people, she likes to play the victim and um, project. She attacks people all the time, is, is harsh, and then turns around and acts like she's the victim. And why are people attacking me? Well, because you attack everyone and your politics hurt people. And those people, of course, respond to their lives being affected by your politics. Like, she's rich. Um, she grew up the daughter of a politician. Um, she's rich and spoiled and entitled and just an absolute princess. And she, I don't know if she's, I don't know if she's actually aware of it, but she is it. Um, and, I mean, I really hated her to start off with. And then when her father died, because um, my parents both died of cancer the same year, um, on either side of her father, I think, I think it was in the middle, um, it was about six months difference. So I was sort of going through the same thing as her, and, like, the shot of her at her father's, um, coffin was, like, it made me realise that she is a human being, I don't agree with her politics or how she, um, it's not so much her politics, it's more how she delivers it, how she treats people, how she acts, um, and the whole arrogance, you should, you should agree with me, I'm right, if you don't agree with me, you're the enemy, that sort of, and that's the problem with the right wing, they have that mentality, it's, it's, uh, it's you or me, us or them, basically, you against me, like, it's just, it's just, but it's also the problem with the left wing is they don't have that fighter mentality, which is why they don't win, and the bad guys usually win, because they do fight dirty and they do fight harder, and she's the one person on the panel who's right wing, and she kind of takes that mantle and that sort of victim status of I'm always being attacked, everyone hates me, I always have to defend all these people I come here every day just to be attacked. I'm like, well, you took up the job, you knew what it was. Maybe someone was suggesting, um, someone on ET Canada was suggesting they could have another person on the panel that was a bit more right-wing, so it's not just her against everyone else. That might help, but um, it still wouldn't help audience liking her because she's just not very likeable. Um, like I said, I, I, I sort of took a bit of a turn and I realised she was a human being and just has different views and that sort of changed my judgement of her to a point but then she just started getting really bitchy with joy and nasty with a few people and just arrogant and then there was that thing with Whoopi where she was telling her where she was and that she wasn't there when everyone knew she was because we all saw the interview um, and just that, that attitude is what makes people sick because it's that attitude of, I'm right, despite the facts, despite what you think, despite the facts you're showing me to prove me I'm wrong, I'm just right no matter what because of who I am and I'm a princess. That's that's why people don't want to see her back on the show. They'd be happy for someone else on the show who's right wing. They, they're happy to see those views and see people argue, argue and discuss those views and that's the point of the view. They just don't want her. So I found that really funny. I saw that and I thought, I have to comment on that because she's annoyed me... Every other show she pisses me off, she's just, and it's not so much her opinions, it's her attitude. And I've wanted to say something, but it's like, well, that's really not worth a rant. It's not really worth a video. You don't really need therapy over that. Because these videos are my therapy. I'm just talking to myself, I know that. <laughs> but um, I thought, screw it, I'll just, I'll just do that. And then, you know, she did that, and I was like, yes, I, I can get a whole video out of this. Because and I, she just, she just wants it, she asks for it, she takes up this tiny little, tiny little um, website no one's ever heard of, gets upset and then goes on a rant about a whole other issue and makes herself a martyr for the women's movement because people don't like her because she's a bitch. <laughs> and not a good bitch, like a strong bitch, the kind of bitch that, that we've reappropriated the word for, but just an act actual bitch, like just an unpleasant, nasty unnecessarily arrogant sort of person. That's 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 always underlying everything she does and says on the show and it's just part of her personality. Just that entitlement, that princessness, it's just that's just it. So I just wanted to comment on that because I just thought it was hilarious. And I saw this around, I don't know, six or seven AM in the morning. Like most things, because I'm in Australia, I get all the American news 
in the middle of the night. I'm a bit of insomniac, so I'm often up, and sometimes I can do videos, but other times I'm just like, I need to go to bed. So I'm like about a day behind everyone else, and I know that. But like I said, this is therapy. I'm just talking to myself. It's all good. But um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't look forward to her coming back. I do look forward to the show coming back. Um, and it's a little bit of fun... It's only fun, okay, when, when she causes trouble, it's only fun to see the other slap her back down. It's actually, I don't enjoy her rants and complicating things and her attitude and that, but it is nice to see other people smack her down. So the show might not be as fun if, if it was someone else because there wouldn't be that element, but I, I think the unpleasantness kind of, kind of balances. I think I could lose that and, you know, be just as happy with the show. I'm going to go.